Perhaps you've heard me talk about a krill, a small investor just putting in a little money at a time to play to earn can one day become a whale. Is it true? Can that actually be possible? Let's talk about it. Stay tuned. Hello, Kamusta Ola. This is Luke and on my channel, I play to earn and help you guys to do the same. And often my motto with our logo is a krill, a small investor putting in money into these games, investing, buying up NFTs, playing the games to earn crypto. And one day the claim is hopefully we can all become whales together. Now the question you might be asking yourself as you listen is, is this possible? Can a krill really become a whale? And of course, as some of you pointed out, biologically, of course, that's not true. But what we're talking about is a krill, a, what was normally the whale food. Could it survive long enough in this play to earn NFT space to become a whale ourselves? That desire a lot of us have, whether you know we want to get out of debt or get out of poverty or start a business, start a family, whatever we want. It's those things of can we climb up slowly but surely through the ranks of play to earn to actually make something meaningful for our lives. Well, first of all, we've already seen people do it. You know, I'm not going to name everyone's name here in the Splendid Lands world, but you can hear a lot of stories of people just putting in a little bit of money at a time before the game took off, and now they're sitting at accounts with hundreds of thousands of dollars of assets. We've also heard of stories of people in the Philippines playing Axie Infinity at the height of the game and then being able to use that money to buy up a house there. So is it possible? Well, yes, people have already proven that it is possible. So how is this possible? Well, first, when you talk about what does it mean to be a krill and to be a krill in this play to earn NFT investing space into these video games, it means different things. You know, for me, it's someone that I'm putting in, you know, about $50 to $100 a month as my video game budget. And I was saying, hey, let's put those into NFTs instead play the game and if it pops off then hey I'll have something that can mean something that's valuable to me maybe it's you know my thousand dollars of Splinterlands now becomes ten thousand or fifty thousand one day and I can pay off some debts or buy a new car that you know works better than the one I have now I don't know it, it could be anything to me to one day become a whale it doesn't just mean becoming a, a person with millions and millions of dollars maybe to you being a krill is I, I live in a underdeveloped nation and I just can't even get money into crypto and so I'm trying to do the these free to earn things, these giveaways, and just slowly pretty much start from nothing. Or maybe even for you, being a krill is someone that has a little bit more that some people would say is a minimum. Maybe you have a couple thousands of dollars into these NFT games, but you're still feeling like you're far away from being a whale. So wherever you're at in this krill journey, the hope and the goal of this community is to work together to one day become a whale. And again, that can mean different things to different people. Maybe being a whale means to you, as I said earlier, having those millions of dollars and just being able to do whatever you want with that money. Uh, for a lot of us though, maybe being a whale isn't you know about millions of dollars, but just having enough, being content, being able to provide for our families, maybe buying up a house or a car, or, or as I said, just getting out of debt that we've been stuck in. Money can't buy you happiness, can't buy you complete security, but it does help to remove some of the stressors of life, let's be real. So is being a whale possible? Yes, it is possible, but realize what you put in is going to expand your returns for the future. So if you're just putting, you know, in a couple bucks a month right now because that's all you can afford, well, don't expect to, you know, in three years be someone that has, you know, five million dollars worth in your NFTs. You know, a lot of people, even in the Splinterlands community, that have a hundred thousands of dollars in this game, they've invested a thousand or two thousand dollars at a time, and some of them, you know, may have at one point reached an account with a half a million, but realize that those people over time probably put in, you know, ten, twenty thousand dollars into the game. If you are someone that's putting thousands of dollars into these play to earn games, you might be here early enough that yeah, one day a whale, it could be, you know, a couple million dollars for you. Who really knows? It's all, you know, ejecture and prediction at this point. But if you are someone that's putting thousands of dollars into these games right now, who knows if things really keep taking off and you put your money into the right games that you know are early enough, you could see huge returns moving forward in your life. And who knows, you could be a millionaire. My point is that we are so early in this industry, even though it really picked up in 2021, there are so many people that are playing games that are still not understanding the potential of NFTs or the play to earn space. And so the fact that yes, we hit a bit of a bubble, maybe a couple months ago in this industry, 
there are still a long ways to go. And so we could see, you know, a potentially in the next couple of years, millions of millions of players come into some of these games. And so again, if you pick the right ones, if you choose the ones that are going to last and that have the ability to draw those new players in, if you're sitting in there, even with just a few assets, you might see them appreciate like those players that were early into Axie or early into Splinterlands really pop off. So if you're feeling like a krill right now that you're just getting crushed in these play to earn games, my encouragement to you is just hold on don't think about right now don't think about five weeks from now think about what do you want your life to look like in five years what do you want your account to possibly be and what is realistic so let's look at some numbers to see what is possible this is all fake numbers but as a krill let's just say you have ten dollars to invest a month or fifty dollars a month or a hundred dollars maybe even a krill to you means a thousand dollars that's getting a little bit steep but even if you're you know someone that doesn't have a ton again there are ways to earn free crypto by blogging and doing different methods where technically you could even earn 50 dollars a month i think close to it by doing some of these methods and just to reinvest into these games so let's say you start with 10 or 50 what does it look like with made up numbers here this is obviously just random percentages either a plus or minus based on you know my simulation of the market of course this is going to be more geared towards a bullish market because i believe in this five years if the whole nft play to earn game market goes to crap you might see a lot more you know negatives in here but i'm assuming more positives as we are early in the space in five years we could see some growth these numbers may not be realistic i don't know they're just trying to show you guys if you're putting in ten dollars a month and getting gains and losses or if you're putting fifty dollars in a month at a time, $100, $1,000. This is what I mean by realistic. So you can see just by putting in, you know, the $10 versus $50 versus $100 a month, there's some pretty big differences. Just after year one, you can see this $10 account is now potentially maybe at 200, where the $50 account a month is towards the $1,000. And the $1,000 marker, because they put in $12,000 themselves over 12 months, and the gains and minuses over that period led them to a $20,000 account. And you can scroll down, and I just did this for 60 months just as a fun simulation, not, again, real math or advice here, <laughs> but what is potentially possible. And you see, the more you put in each month into these games, the bigger gains you're going to see. That's what I mean by, you know, what is realistic in becoming a whale. A whale to you, if you're just starting out as a person that can only put in $10 into these games a month, you know, coming out in five years with three grand, that's still huge. You only put $600 into this game. That's 5x returns over five years. Go talk to any financial investor. That is crazy money. And again, you know, $50 a month, maybe you could turn that into $15,000. Really set yourself up as a minnow. And that, you know, next five years after that, you have a ton of more assets to play with. Maybe you can get to that marker where you're somewhere to the, towards the $30,000, $100,000, or, you know, maybe even a, a whale in your mind with a couple hundred grand. This is what I'm talking about when it's possible. You know, if you look at the, the people in Splinterlands who were early, $1,000 a month for 60 months. Yes, that's 60 grand they put in over five years. But then they, you know, 5x their amount as well, and they're at $300,000. So realistic is going to mean different things to different people. Krill and whale is going to mean different things to different people. But if we are playing with our money right and we are getting some gains as well as some losses during the bear markets, we could see some potential nice ending gains in five years. Of course, this is not financial advice. This is just potentially a scenario that could happen that has happened to people before in this space. Again, I'm not encouraging anyone to put $1,000 a month, especially if you can't afford to lose it. Anytime you're investing, you should know it's uh, money that if it hits zero, it hits zero. So you got to be able to you know, think that you're going to be able to survive and you'll be okay with that money if it does do that. So for me, I'm more in towards this column between D and E, where maybe I'm in you know five years. Again, as I said, someone that's put in some money and could see some good returns to potentially pay off some debts that I have in life. A krill investor is not going to become a whale overnight. Trust me, I've been playing in these play to earn games now for almost an entire year and I'm nowhere near a whale. I'm still just trying to learn how to swim, how to grow in this space. And I know that if I keep working hard at it, if I keep learning and I keep researching and playing every single day, that maybe three, four, five years down the road, I'll have uh, a meaningful gain that seems to me like almost a minnow or whale status. Maybe if in five years, as I said, I'm a minnow, then maybe it's just another five to 10 years where I can really snowball from a minnow to a whale. And so my encouragement is join me on this journey because this could be an amazing potential opportunity that you don't wanna miss. 
So is it possible to actually go from being a krill to being a whale? Well, it depends on how you define those, but I would say yes, we've seen people do it. We're still early enough in the industry that in another three to five years, we could be sitting in a really good spot. And those who work hard now, play to earn, write to earn on high blog, whatever you can do to earn free crypto, to earn NFTs, enter in those giveaways, and I feel like in five to 10 years, we can be all in an amazing situation together. So that's my hope for this community. That's my hope for all of us krills. Let's keep going together. Let's work together and let's reach out to our whale friends. Uh, you know, even though we're krills, we need the help of those to, you know, do whatever, to help us become scholars or point us in the right direction. Maybe get some of their giveaways, whatever it is, we can all work together so that on, you know, five to 10 years down the road, we can be all sitting in a great spot together. So let's keep going on this journey. I'm excited for it, and I hope you guys keep following me along on my Play to Earn channel, and I'll see you guys later. Adios, pa'alam, and have a great day.